Greetings, my lord. I bring the good wishes of Moff Sarek, the officer entrusted with annexing this planet. He has been anticipating your arrival. Fill me in on the situation. I would not presume to answer that. The Moff can explain to you himself. A good day, my lord. It will well serve the aims of the Empire to have so accomplished a Sith on this planet. I expect to care little for the niceties of politics here, so I will be brief. The Empire intends to use Alderaan's succession struggle to bring it into the fold, and I'm offering you the opportunity to play a pivotal role. Alderaan would make a fine jewel in the Empire's crown. The heir to Alderaan's throne was recently assassinated, right after withdrawing from the protection of the Republic. The planet's in civil war, and for the first time in thousands of years, without the armies of the Republic to bring order. That's a long time. Has the Republic really given them up? The Republic has its proxies here, as we have ours. We have allied ourselves with House Thal. The House was exiled 60 years ago after a failed bid for power, and came to us instead. Unfortunately, they have proven too weak to do what's needed. Do they need the fear of the Emperor put into them? Yes. Jorad, one of the Thal Lords, insists on following Alderaan's rules of civilized warfare. I want you to show him warfare is far from civil. Several of Thal's vassal houses have rebelled since Thal's connection to us became public. This cannot be allowed. Take a slave collar from my man here and drag one of these rebels to our weak-willed Lord Thal. Kill the rest and leave them where they fall. They will learn that the best way to survive is to submit. These lords of Alderaan must lose their foolish pride. Those who will not bow must break. What is... who... Uh, Crimar? Is that Crimar Noven? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? W what, what's this about? <gasps> oh. If you are to join the Empire, you should take more care to recognize those in power. Uh, uh, my lord. All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you! The Empire asks only your obedience. Alderaan has been free for as long as your Empire has existed. I've explained to Moff Sarek before. Perhaps you'd have more luck trying to lure ants with honey. And I explained that honey is quickly eaten and turned to dung. Sir! I'd love to chat, but I really must run. Indulge me. I'm inspired by the success of your last task. I would like to make you the voice of the Empire in House Thor. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing resistance to our rule. Obey her as you would me, and with the same penalty for defiance. Tell her what must be done to secure Thor's hold on Alderaan. Y yes, sir. Uh, my lady. What's the next move? I suppose the Moth expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses and loyal to the Republic. Until recently they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet. Uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top-of-the-line cloaking better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing. I'm smarter than a probe droid. House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications. And that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. They will learn the folly of resisting the Empire. Alderaan is a free world. We will never submit. Silence! If you stand with the Organas, you betray a thousand years of loyalty. The Organa guerrillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. 
If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a back door into all their communications. Once we can hear them, there's nowhere on this world they'll be safe. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing. Impressive work. You can see we now have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train you Imperials well, don't they? On Korriban, we held little parties each time a fellow student died. I, I see. And, um, anyway, now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thulch, the base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Border outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. There's an attack on one of your bases? One we can handle. The data feeds are showing all three of our border outposts are under attack. A coordinated assault, hunter killers and probe droids. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please, save my bases and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. Every second, more of your men's lives are lost. Thank you. Now hurry! I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. I really am the best. Moff Sarek honored me by thinking I was worthy of the attention of a Sith. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. I find the best oath of loyalty is a man's firstborn son in shackles. The parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa Estates. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel! Blood of a queen! They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel! Does this siege tunnel lead inside? Yes. It connects directly to the Kalesa Estates. And I sent the guard to defend the outposts. That was his plan. No one's used it in centuries, but it, it, the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? Murder and mayhem await. I would not have guessed your bloodlust would come in so handy. Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set up, but they, they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you could collapse it on Cedric and his army. Seal the access, so they can't threaten us again. Let's get it done. I don't know what I'd do without you here. There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. So, you're the Imperial puppet who taught Jorad Thule to bite instead of bark. Does he lick your hand? Fetch your slippers? Real Alderanians will never bow to the likes of you. I've been asked to kill you, and I hate to disappoint. Then do it. Another will rise in my place, and another after that, until the last infant child. If you had a shred of decency, you'd settle this like a woman of honor. Instead, you hide behind a carton of explosives. You against me. You surprise me, Sith. I heard your kind wouldn't know of honor if they scraped it off their shoe. A duel of skill, then. If you win, I will give my house over to Jorah Thule to use as he will. If I win, you stand aside and let me cleanse Alderaan of this scourge, and tell your Imperial handlers Alderaan lives free or dies! To arms! I... concede. You have the better skill. Perhaps it is Alderaan's fate to fall to the Empire. I will tell my people. We must find a way to live through these times. No one challenges me, and lives. Then, kill me. At least I will not live to see Alderaan fall.
Kinesis just surrendered. My men are returning from the outpost to take them into custody. The Kinesis are saying, you are a woman of great honor. I will tell Moff Selleck of your heroism immediately. I have won your place for you fairly. In a way they understand. An unnecessary luxury, but it did not cost us the battle. This time. The Thals need not fear any further rebellion in their ranks. It would be a waste to keep one of our few Sith here any longer. A General Stanul Thal is coordinating our efforts near House Ald. Speak to him if you'd like to take a further role in this conquest. You have saved my house's dream of ruling our world, and taught me much about what that will mean. I will not forget. Stanul Fool? I was told you want to see me? Yes, Moff Sarek said you'd be here. We've had an inspection team lost to the Kilix for days now, advisors from Droman Kars. They were inspecting one of our mining sites for lanthanide deposits. But in the middle of their inspection, the entire place was overrun by Kilix. We've had no communication for days. I want the full briefing. Risk assessment, strategic importance, all of it. Moff Sarek wants the inspection team rescued, and fast. Apparently some of them hold serious rank off-world. And the Kilix don't exactly respond to negotiations. They're the native aliens here. Giant bugs with just enough sentience to shoot a blaster. Attacking these Kilix would take half our army, but apparently I'm too close to the problem to strategically assess its value. Armies do balk at trying something that will leave half of them dead. If you can do what they cannot, I will owe you a debt I can never repay. It's not only the inspection team. My daughter is in there too. I don't know if she's alive or dead. If you can find her, find our advisors, free them if they're prisoners. I promise you a reward that will leave me bankrupt. I will not let these aliens kill your daughter or the advisors. Thank you. For myself even more than for my house. have removed those who are not of the nest. Had they stayed, they would have learned the peace of the joining. We will not deny you your prize. But leave now. There has been a song of swarming. We have claimed these mines for the nest. What exactly are you? Once we were called Daria Thul. Now we are known as New Child of the Ukanuku Nest. We have tasted the gel and scented the egg chamber. We have joined. I'm here to save you. You are mistaken. We are not here against our will. We have joined the kind. There is peace in the nest. A love that comes of sharing one mind. It is a gift beyond measure. We will never return. Am I supposed to care? Here we are safe. Here we are at peace. Here we will stay. Come with me, or die along with every Killick here. That's your only option. No, we will never. We are hearing the voice of the nest. We have decided it is not worth many losses to save one. The nest has spoken. We will return. Thank you. My medics are treating the inspection team for shock, but they seem otherwise unharmed. I wish I could say the same for my daughter. It is clear those monsters have drugged her, brainwashed her. I've heard of this, something in the pheromones that joins their captives to their hive mind. She may still recover. Be patient with her. I only wish I could have protected her. General Thule, excuse me. It is urgent I speak with my rescuer at once. I'm Agent Craig Graf, Imperial Intelligence. It was no accident those Killicks attacked when they did. The Ulgas pushed them toward that mine. How did you know? We've been monitoring communications between the Ulgo strike teams in that region. This was definitely planned. The push was orchestrated by the Ulgos to distract us from something they're calling Operation Sunshower. By all means, continue. I've heard that term. It's come up a few times in the chatter we're getting from our back door into the Organa networks. It's a beradium detonator, a massive explosive. They plan to strike at the heart of Full Lands. The detonator's being transported by Boris Ulgo's elite soldiers, former Republic Special Forces, with the best weapons they could take 
and all the training the Republic gave them. Kill the soldiers, steal the weapon. Just before the Killix arrived, we acquired a data file that I believe to be the launch codes for the detonator. If you really wish to strike fear into the heart of the Ulgos, get into the camp where they're holding it and set it off prematurely. It won't be the full force of the weapon, but let it be Ulgo that perishes, not Thule.